All right, we have one more East Texas boys team left in the fight. That is the third rank, Great Flint Sandys. Hey, they've been close the past few years, but this season they were finally able to break through. Garrett Sanders was in Houston County this morning as the team took off for San Antonio, looking to win their first state championship since 1985. The Sandys have been so close in recent memory, and those gut-wrenching losses over the years have fueled this season's team to the 2A state championship game. To get over the hump, man, it's just, you know, it feels amazing. I mean, for falling short just those couple years, you know, it just it's heartbreaking. I mean, now we're here, getting where we want to be, and just got to finish it. Most of them, almost all of them at some point, um, have been to a regional final. Nobody had been able to get over the hump. Um, and so for them, you know, they wanted to do it for those guys that had come immediately before them. So on Friday morning, the team made their way toward the bus as students and family cheered them on, which has been a familiar sight throughout this postseason run. Oh, bar none, Grapeland has the best support system, the best fans and community of any place in the state of Texas. And so we're excited for, uh, for the opportunity to have those guys come out and support us one more time. It's just a one time in a lifetime that we're just going to enjoy this. And have, we have a long road and we're just going to enjoy this, what, we, what we're doing. The Sandys had to knock off four straight ranked opponents to make it this far. We'll get a chance to take down number two on Saturday. You know, we'll have seen most of what is the top tier talent in the state, at least according to all these polls. And so we're excited for the opportunity. It's, it's like a dream. You know, as a kid, you always want to be at this certain stage, you be at this level and experience these certain things. So, I mean, it's a great feeling. It's amazing. Grapeland will tip off against the Clarendon Broncos at 10 a.m. on Saturday for the 2A state title. In Grapeland, Garrett Sanders, KTK Sports. So there you have it, folks. After five straight regional finals, Coach Blake Dowdy and company are finally going to play for the big one. 29-1 Grapeland faces a team from the Panhandle in Clarendon. As you heard, tip time is 10 a.m. at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Finally, Alto is bringing back an old alum as its new head football coach, and that is Lufkin defensive coordinator Lance Gamble. Congrats to him.